Bonjour. <laughs> uh, hold on, I should probably stop this. I'm listening to my 60s pop playlist because it's actually my late 60s French pop playlist on Spotify because I finished watching The Queen's Gambit last week. Tell me you guys watched that. I know I'm late to the game. It came out in like October of last year, but whatever. Anyways, I finished watching The Queen's Gambit last week and I decided that's my style now. And I'm just going to try to do my hair like Beth Harmon from now on, I think. So that's a whole thing. Hi. So here we are We're in my office and I am going to be placing some orders today. So I just wanted to catch you guys up on what I'm doing for teacher's greetings. I need some water. Just a second. Stay hydrated, y'all. So what I need to work on today is placing some orders. I actually need to order flat mailers. I need to finish formatting my designs so that I can submit them to the print shop. And then um, I've also been working on, this is a whole I feel like I want to say this like Taylor from the Chronicles of Teacher Tay. This is a whole situation. Like, I, I, I really thought formatting a greeting card digitally would be pretty simple. And it is. It is. Um, except when you're doing that for, I think I have like 15 designs. One of them has, some of them have color variation, like a couple of colors. One of them has seven different colors. So that's... And then you want to like, I want to format them so they're five by seven printable or four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half, which is like a half sheet of paper folded. Um, it'll be cardstock, printed on cardstock, right? But to, to format them, it's different sizes. Like five by seven is not the same ratio as four and a quarter by five and a half. So I had to like basically copy my own design create a new layer so I could re-letter it on the other size, then download that, then import that to pages. It is a whole situation. I'm not even kidding you. So that's where I am currently. Ugh, I don't like the way this looks right now. Hold on. It's just, I mean, I, I want to put, I actually have the cutest. Can I show you? I just, I have this really cute poster that I actually want to frame and stick on this wall. I had this in college too. Actually, I think I got it from a, an art studio. It's just polka dots. It's literally just polka dots, but I want to frame this because it is just, it is my vibe y'all. Like, anyway, so I want to frame that and put that on the wall over there because I think it would just look really cute in my office. I've got my white desk. I've got things getting semi-organized. That glance down there was to this mess that I don't know what to do with. So I think until I move, anyway, that's that's another whole issue. So we're not gonna deal with that today. So yeah, I'm submitting designs to the print shop today. So I have to follow up with them. I'm gonna get them on the phone and I'm gonna place my Amazon order for my mailers. I may just have to buy a bundle in person because this says they're not gonna be back in stock until March 6th. Whatever. I'm honestly, I'm trusting the Lord with the details because if I sit here and worry about all that, it's not going to get me anywhere. So, um, yeah, so that's it for now. Placing some orders today. And so let me show you, let me grab my iPad. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm very excited about this. Okay. Um, so let me show you. So here on pages, uh, you obviously cannot see that. How am I going to film this? Let me just lay this down. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> okay, so here's pages. And so what I have to do with every single design, let's see this one, for every single design, well, the thing I was working on last week was creating my logo and then um, like the things I wanted on the back of each card. And so that took a minute <laughs> because I felt like I just needed to like I sat there and I made new logos. This is my original logo. I've had this logo since I handmade a card for my middle sense teacher. I just, I knew that's what I wanted. I had to create a template, which that 
wasn't as difficult as it should have been. Uh, excuse me. It was more difficult than it should have been because on, on pages on iPad, you only have a top ruler. There is no vertical ruler, which I'm like, who uses this this way? Who created this app? I don't understand. So yeah, I made call numbers for each design and then I have one and two here for different variations in size and or color. And then, um, but I have that for all of my designs and this isn't even all of them. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. Um, last week I didn't make a video while I was designing things because I just felt like, I really felt in my spirit like the word focus focus, focus, it kept coming up. And I was just like, if I stop to make a video about what I'm doing, I'm not going to stay focused. I'm going to be thinking about that. I'm going to have to go get dressed and put on the makeup and do the. So I didn't make a video about doing my logo. I will um, eventually, but I really do need to get these orders in. So I'm going to work on that. I need to finish. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to like email everything to the print printers so that they have the correct back of the card for each front of the card. I guess if I just number them and name them, then that should be fine. Also, I'm trying to figure out, I think I need to do these five by seven, which obviously like the startup cost is gonna be higher, but, uh, okay, did I talk about my angel investor? So starting a business, usually means you need to get backers, right? Like it's, or, or a loan. Um, but God really spoke to me about staying debt-free and actually staying. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. Not staying debt-free, but becoming debt-free by asking my dad to support my business. So super quick backstory. My parents split up when I was 10 and um, around then. Very long story short, we we're not on great terms with my dad. And, uh, you know, a couple ex-wives later, he had a hospital stay and ended up like the care was not what it should have been. And he got a settlement from it. So anyway, my mom actually told me last October, ask your dad, just ask your dad to help fund your business. He loves things like this. And I was like, Okay, so I did. And he was like, yeah, how much? And so uh, my dad is my angel investor. He's not asking for anything back, but I did feel like led in my spirit to give him 15% off the top of whatever profits I get just because he believes in me. And I think that's important to give back to your investors even when they don't ask for it. And I know we didn't sign any official kind of contract. I just gave him an invoice about costs, startup costs. Um, and the main one was to pay off my credit card debt because I really did not feel good opening up a bank account for a business if I had personal debt, you know, that got bigger when quarantine hit because sometimes I shop to comfort myself, which I'm not proud of, but it is true, which is why that movie and the book series Confessions of a Shopaholic resonates with me. Like Becky Bloomwood gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so all that to say, my dad is my backer and he is constantly checking in on me, which is super cool. And, and he and I have a lot more in common than I realized. Um, because when I became a teacher, I knew like my grandma on my mom's side, Nanai, she was a teacher. She taught Spanish. Um, in the Philippines and in the U.S. And um, so, yeah, she's like multilingual, which is amazing. So I became a teacher and I was like, yeah, I take after my grandma. And, and then this idea came up. And as I'm chatting with my dad, like he has so much business sense. I, I'm thinking back and I realized like he has invested in so many different businesses personally. Like he's done, he's been part of startups. He's been... Like my dad has that entrepreneurial spirit. Like he's been one of the few people on a staff where like he's got, got to keep the books and got to talk to clients and got to work on marketing. Like all of that stuff, he's done it. So um, it's really cool to like rekindle this relationship with my dad in the middle of starting up this business. And I know that that's a big part of what God had planned for me. Um, 
And so I'm just really grateful. I'm really grateful for this whole experience and being able to share it with all of you. Um, and yeah, I don't want to keep you too long. There's not much I'm doing as far as the business side, except for really just placing the orders. So I'm going to get to that because I need to focus. So if whatever you are doing this week, I want to just encourage you to stay focused. Okay. Keep the main thing, the main thing for real. <laughs> Will you just leave me a little note of motivation, of encouragement in the comments? I'm fishing for it. I'm asking for them. Like, trolls come at me with whatever you got because your comments help my page grow. So that works too. But anyways, <laughs> I, um, yeah. So anyway, I am very excited about what is to come. March is going to be a great month because it's Teacher Appreciation Week. So the perfect time to launch. And um, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you and I hope you have a fantastic week. All right, bye guys. Bye.